Hi, Ted Padova here again, bringing you another tutorial video on using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. In this video, I want to talk about creating drop down lists. Now, if you've done any forms, you've probably created a drop down list before. You know that you have a tool up here in the toolbar, and if I select my tool, bring it down into my document. Let's add a field here, and I'll just leave the default name click all properties and basically what we do is we go to the options tab here and we enter a value call this uh, item one and we click add I'll add another one item two and we uh, let's see let's make that a capital and we'll add that and let's uh, add something like uh, instructions here I'm gonna say select item and we'll add that and you notice that this item goes to the bottom here it's not sorting any items what I can do is just move these around by clicking the up and down buttons over here so if I select this and I click up a few times it goes to the top and the default for this field will always be the one that you have selected when you close the properties dialog box. So if I close right now, I have selected items here. If I close when I have one of these other items, it's going to be the default. So what you always want to pay attention what your default is going to be when you click and select one of those items. Okay, so here's my drop down list. I go to preview and you can see that they have those items that I added in my options menu there. So I'm going to delete this and you can see that I have over here I go to preview and I'll open up these different drop down lists you can see that I created some simple lists here and that's all well and good but we can do much more with Acrobat and drop down lists when we add some JavaScript routines I can populate one field from responses in another field for example and I'll show you how we do that I'm going to open up this field and you can see that I have two items here I added these just as I did earlier with the other field that I showed you I created a drop-down list and then over in the format tab I have a JavaScript and basically what's going to happen is whatever I choose in the first item in options I have two items undergraduate courses this is for enrollees in a jury university and an application for admission form and a student if a student is an undergraduate then there are certain schools that, that they can uh, take advantage of and if they're a graduate student they might have some different choices so those choices are all dependent on whether one clicks on undergraduate or graduate and that changes and it does so with the JavaScript now I'm going to open up a file here just because I want to increase the font size this is the JavaScript that's in that field right there in the format tab okay and these are the items that appear for undergraduate and also I have items for graduate it says a set items and it's got a number of items here let me take a look at want to use uh, a text wrap here so I can get that all within the screen view okay so here's my list I've got agriculture biological and agricultural engineering etc etc then I break and I change the case to graduate and I have a number of other items here and depending on what item you choose here these lists are going to appear in the second field okay because I'm getting that field right up here in name dot school now I have another script in this field over here I'll open this up and this is going to be in my calculate area this is a relatively long script once again I'm going to open that script up in an editor so let's go to let's go to BB edit and open that up and this one is the result field all right and you can see that I have a long list based on whatever choice a student makes for 
graduate or undergraduate and the school that they want to attend at the university, for example, the School of Art or the School of Science or the School of Liberal Arts, uh, whatever it may be, based on their choice, the tuition is going to appear in this field. So let's take a look at how that works. So let's say I'm going to choose undergraduate. These are the different schools that an undergraduate student can take advantage of. So let's say somebody wants to go into engineering. And when I tab out of this field, you'll notice it's going to populate the tuition value over here. Tab out, and there it is. OK, I'm going to reset my form. I'll go to undergraduate and we'll say agriculture tab out and there's the tuition that a student would pay for that particular school so you can see that you have some some rather interesting alternatives that you can use for drop down lists you can add javascripts and i have both the javascripts contained in these fields i'm going to upload this to my website and post a link here in uh, the YouTube video description where you can download that link. So take advantage of it and, and see if you can poke around and explore a little bit about using drop-down lists and adding JavaScripts when you want to uh, supply different options in secondary fields. Okay, so this is Ted Padova once again wishing you the best of luck in all your forms creation activities.